Alright, this is Elvin Mark. This is the first day of our semi lockdown here in Singapore. It is the 7th of April. And what this partial lockdown is schools and workplaces uh, have been shut down. Offices, I mean, so everyone's working from home. Students are uh, running their classes online. There are a lot of eateries, they're open. So the only thing different about this is that we're not allowed to dine. Um, where we eat so we have to take away or bring it to go or the local term for this is tapau it will be really common to see people with lunch bags or plastic bags containing their food packs so I'm gonna try that food center over there you can already see places like Starbucks McDonald's they're all adhering to this new circuit breaker it's this term that our government coin. There's my wonton noodle lady over there, wearing red. Bye bye. She an more. She goes for her her massage. I think every Tuesday. Hello, Mr. Tan. Come So hello. Hello. <laughs> That's my coffee man from this coffee shop. This is a Tamil food court. Hello. Okay. So according to her thought, Jesus came to spot check. So needless to say everything is gonna be tapao from today onwards for the next 28 days. Okay, thank you. Mm. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye Okay, so far so good. Is everything the same uh, except for the fact that I have to bring this back to the studio, find a dining table to dine in. I have my wonton noodles and my milk tea. I'm gonna start with a brand new book. All these sketches made in this book will be dedicated to this semi-lockdown period. Let's begin guys! Hi guys, this is day two of the circuit breaker. Alvin Mark here. I'm heading out for lunch. Okay, we're back here at Dumbin Food Center again. I'm gonna try to find a popia or a wet spring roll. Oh, it's open. It's one of the best around this area. I'm gonna have some for lunch. Alright guys, so I'm gonna wait for him to prepare the popia. Let's uh, see how he does it. So it's just like a burrito, but I've requested for him not to cut it in pieces. Makes sense, right? Remember this guy from yesterday? And the wonton lady? I got him to not slice up the pieces because it's just gonna be easier. It's just food for nourishment at this point. I'm taking away the looks and presentation at what I'm eating. That's how it is, guys. Okay, back to the studio. My take is to support as much as I can in my own small little way. I still come up to purchase. Hello, Mr. Tan. 
Yuanyang Si Ko Song Peng. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so what this is, it's uh, it's like dirty chai. It's tea and coffee mix. It's called Yuanyang. And uh, Mr. Tan was asking me why I bought I told him I bought spring rolls for Pia. And he said, well, it's not gonna be a lot. So I'm gonna couple it with fried carrot cake. This is Southeast Asian style carrot cake. I'm gonna get the white one. So if you're not familiar with this, what this is, is just simply white carrots, like turnips, right? So it's just across from Chinyo restaurant and uh, this is our huge supermarket called Giant's effort to assist or help or curb this issue. How cool! I wish I had a kitchen in my studio. I was out last night and I think a lot of the eateries closed really early. So I ended up at a fast food joint. I won't say which fast food restaurant but it came with a few pieces of fried chicken. Anyway, I was eating my chicken, coleslaw and mashed potatoes while walking back to the studio. These 28 days kind of remind me of my time on the Camino, Camino de Santiago and it was a life-changing journey for me. Uh, for one, I became a full-time artist. What's happening right now is reminding me a lot of that journey. Just being resilient, um, alert at the same time and just be full of love uh, wherever I go to, whoever I meet, the groups, uh, individuals that I meet online. So we're heading back to the studio to sketch these things. So I'm gonna paint the popian first because it's soggy and I don't want it to over soak. So that's the first thing I'm gonna paint. Here we go guys. Okay guys, see it's uh, getting a little bit soggy at the bottom because of all the juice, um, colour has changed quite a bit. Morning guys. This is day three of the circuit breaker. We are moving in another direction for today. I'm going to do something slightly different because I have an online class to run. So I'm just dropping by the convenience store to get some puffs to eat. Uh, they have collaborated with local brand Polar Cafe to come up with these things. Really good. Toilet paper we have. Do this guys. arrived and uh, he delivered two moleskin A4 watercolor booklets. Yeah, I love those especially. I take them when I travel. Those are really handy. More sketch travels coming right up. 
But for now, I have an online class to run. This, this kind of stuff is like what you can do in my uh, real human form. Cannot be lowering this by lowering the shoulder. You're able to push this stand up. Uh, it was already set up, maybe about a week. Good morning, guys. So I just picked this up from the local community center. It says that this face mask is 100% cotton, it's comfortable, it's breathable, it's quick drying and of course it's washable slash reusable. During this time of lockdown, it is imperative that all of us wear a face mask. Let's do this guys! Alright, thank you so much Jeff for picking up on my first or my second day video I think I went on not using the mask I didn't know the bill was passed just yesterday and the fine for not adhering to the new laws would be Singapore $10,000 and up to 6 months of jail term Good morning guys, this is day 5 I am going to have some Kacang pool. Kacang means peanut and pool means uh, pool, like pool of water. And uh, it's something very uncommon here in Singapore, but more common in the Middle East. I guess it's just me. One Kacang pool. Do you guys have? Okay, thank you. arrived guys just in the nick of time perfect timing it's time to go I don't have to say it but just to make it clear a lot of businesses are suffering because of what's happening so we can only be there to support them as much as we can in our own small little way all right guys so so this is broad beans mashed up served with a fried egg and a couple of uh, uh, sliced onions and uh, sliced green chili, yeah. And it's also served with uh, French loaf. Alvin Mark here. Happy Good Friday. Looks like it's gonna rain. Hey guys, Elvin Mark, good morning. Before we head out today, just want to share with you some things that I've noticed on this Instagram TV of mine. Yeah, I just want to share some of these comments because I think it's really hilarious. Emerald Queen TV from Atlanta, Georgia thinks with this mask I look like a ninja. And then I reply, I think I look more like a sketching bandit. So what do you guys say? Um, Ninja, hiya! <laughs> or sketching bandit. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a poll right now, so let me know. That is just awesome. It's just a reminder that regardless of how small we are in the face of what's happening, if we hang on together, we each play our part in doing what we have to do, miracles will happen. 
So I came down and I remembered that there's all this tuna that my dad gave me last November and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna get some bread. So I went to Cheers to get a loaf of bread and here it is guys. Good morning everyone! For those who are celebrating Happy Easter, today is fruit day for me. Actually today I'm, I'm just going to stock up on some fruit. So I'm going to head over to the supermarket. It's an overcast day so this is not really for the sun, it's, it's going to be for the rain. We have uh, new measures. All those taking public transport. Uh, from today onwards, I think we have to put on our mask. Uh, and this will see us through even after the circuit breaker. Here we are. It's gonna be crowded. That price also practices priority shopping hours for the elderly, for those who are pregnant. Uh, yeah, from 7 to 8 in the morning. The mangoes look really good. I'm sure that's a very good one. We have green kiwi, red kiwi, and sun gold kiwi. So that's like the traffic light. That's a local Southeast Asian fruit called the longan. This one has been out in the recent years in the market. Apparently some golden melon from Korea. All good to paint, right? I'm gonna get these uh, lovely Kyoho grapes from Taiwan. This is also very Southeast Asian, Jumbo. I love these, they are called those apples. I'm seeing this trend, they're setting up these external counter areas uh, so people don't have to go into the air conditioned areas to get their produce. Yeah, let's go guys, keep it moving. <laughs> So this is the Easter special. It is Easter, right? Since I didn't go for my Easter egg hunt today, got this from the supermarket. There we go. So it's a Kit Kat bar but in the shape of a bunny rabbit. Anyway, let's see what it looks like first on the inside. Maybe it looks better. So I have to try all different possibilities right before I make a decision whether I want to sketch it with the wrapper on or without. Oh, I'll do it both. So that's what it's gonna look like from my angle. Hi guys, 
Elvin Mark here. We are on another side of Katong. Don't ask me how I got here because I tried saying it on video but it doesn't register. See, I came here using <laughs> See? Uh, so anyway, we are here because I'm going to have my favourite curry puff from this shop here called Sun Sun Huat. Homemade, third generation. Yum. Dennis, two curry puffs please. Thank you. Hello. Burgerdales. Yeah, I'm gonna share with this page where the curry puff is. So let's do it guys. So just a quick note that yeah, because I was carrying that and other things like groceries and all that, it has flattened out a bit. Just imagine it a little fluffier and rounder uh, because it's called, it's like fried potato balls, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 